Now the last example I want to share with you is not really about a miracle of the Qur'an, but a, a beauty, a beauty in the Qur'an. One time I was in an elevator uh, with a true Texan. And you know, the elevator with a true Texan, and he turned to me and he, he clearly realized that I'm Muslim. And so he says to me, you're, you're Muslim, right? And I was like, yeah. He goes, what do you Muslims get in paradise anyway? I mean, this is an elevator pitch. My floor is coming up. So I can't have a long discussion about Jannah with him right now. So I got to give him one thing and let him think. So I said, drinks. And I laughed. <laughs> Dang, nabbit, what does that mean? So anyway, so now what did I mean by that? When I said to him, drinks. I want to share with you something about Surah Al-Insan. Surat Al-Insan Also called Surat Al-Dahr if, if you really want to appreciate what I'm going to share with you I have to set a scene for you first Now, some of you, hopefully, are social people So you invite people to your homes Okay, some of you are like, no <laughs> But yeah, some of you invite people to your homes Now what we do sometimes when we invite a lot of people for Eid Or we invite a lot of people like at some special occasion You don't have enough plates and enough spoons and enough you know, glasses in your house and the dinner table is not enough for everybody so you go in the backyard or you get a little bit of extra space and you get maybe rent out a table and you go to the store and you get like plastic tables pl pl plastic spoons, plastic cups you see you know what I'm talking about? and you, you can't possibly serve everyone because there's too many people at the house so you buy the big giant you know, bottles of drink and you put them on the table and people can pour it themselves Self-service party This is usual, you know, for people that aren't super wealthy That's how they throw a party That's how it is, it's normal You understand? But then sometimes you get invited to a walima at some rich family's walima Like the, they're like, the, you know They got like a Toyota <laughs> They don't, their proton's not enough for them They want a Toyota, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So so you get invited to the banquet hall And when you go to the banquet hall, there are no plastic cups There are no plastic cups, there are glasses And the glasses are upside down on the table before you even get there Right? And when you sit there, a guy who's dressed like a penguin comes to you and says, More drink, more, more drink sir, and he pours it for you And you drink it, and he comes back and he fills it up again, and you're like and you drink it again, and he fills it up again, and you feel guilty. <laughs> and you, and you, you, know, you have a stomach problem, because he keeps filling the drink. But the idea is now you don't have to get up and get your drink when you're in a nice banquet hall, elite setting, you know, rich environment. Then you have servants that are serving the drinks. The cups are already there. You don't have to go and find your drink, etc. You can see, they'll say, what would you like to drink, sir? You understand? Now, that doesn't happen in our homes, usually. That happens in an elite setting. Why am I telling you this? Because the Qur'an, when it talk, talks about Jannah Especially in Surah Al-Insan When Allah talks about Jannah, He talked about drinks And He talked about drinks three times In the same Surah The first time He talked about drinks, He said min The righteous people, good people Allahumma ja'alna minhum They will be drinking from cups the language suggests that they will get up and get their drinks The drinks are available You're at the Jannah waterfall There's a table with all the light lineup of drinks Hold on, I'll be right back And you go over there and you pick your drink and The other one, the other one But you're self-service This is the first level Okay What's a more elite party that I talked to you about? Do you get the drink yourself or you are given the drink? You serve the drink. A few ayat later, وَيُسْقَوْنَ فِيهَا كَأْسًا They are given to drink in cups. Now they're not drinking out of cups themselves, they are being served the drink. وَيَطُوفُ عَلَيْهِمْ وِلْدَانٌ مُخَلَّدُونَ Young servants are running around, Sir, can I pour some more? Can I give you some more? And they're running around and serving you drinks. Fine. So this is the more elite setting. I love the fact that some orientalist intellectuals say, well, the Quran, it spoke about people that were living in a desert, you see. And therefore, 
They spoke of drinks in paradise. It's so primitive, you see. And I was like, you're primitive, dude. <laughs> to this day, to this day, 2013, you go to an elite party and what are you going to find? Glasses, served, serving drinks. Allah put something in the Qur'an that is innate in human nature, no matter how advanced we get technologically. It's still there. It's still there. The idea of people serving you feels like, oh, this is first class. What, why do you pay extra for a first class airfare? Because they come to you, sir, would you like this? Would you like that? Would you like that? When you're in the economy class seat, they walk by and they kick your chair and they go by like, uh, <laughs> you know, you know like, there's a difference. You want to feel special. But you know what? Now in Jannah, Allah described you getting your own drink and now you are being served drink. So this is an upgrade. Yes? Is there any more upgrade available? A few ayat later, he says, وَسَقَاهُمْ رَبُّهُمْ شَرَابًا طَهُورًا Their master, Allah himself, will give them something to drink. A purified drink, subhanAllah. SubhanAllah. You see how he upgraded? First you were getting the drink yourself, then you're being served the drink, and then Allah himself gives you something to drink. SubhanAllah. So when I turned to my Texan friend and I said, drinks, I mean it. I mean it. This is, something, this is something so beautiful. Can you and I imagine even? Can you imagine the honor of being served a drink by Allah Azza wa Jal? وَسَقَاهُمْ رَبُّهُمْ شَرَابًا طَهُورًا That enough is a reason. I don't have to know about anything else in Jannah. I'm just going, شَرَابًا طَهُورًا is good enough for me. I'm set. I'm happy with that. SubhanAllah.